Hey folks, this is AppShocker. This is the fourth video on Swift programming for iOS. Today, we're going to work with Apple's MapKit. MapKit is a library for displaying locations on a map in an iOS app. So, and we also have a protagonist here. And this protagonist will play the leading role for this MapKit app. And who is it? Or, to be more precise, what is it? It is, da -da -da, it is a church. Okay, it's not just any church. It's a, it's a very famous church in Germany. It's called the Ulm Minster. You can look it up on Wikipedia. So, but let's just select a single D application, click on next, and let's just call it Ulm Minster app and click on next. Create it in your default project folder. And let's just go to our main storyboard here. Let's just do it like in the previous videos. Let's just um, resize the display screen here. So in order to make it slimmer. Okay, so and this is perfect now here. Before we can start off uh, doing some coding, we have to make sure that we ha that we implement the framework in our app. Let's just go to our app, click on it, go to build faces, and click on the plus sign. Let's select map kit, select it, and click on add. Now we got it in, in our app. Good. Now what we have to do is we go to our main storyboard and let's look for something that is called map view yeah this is it drag and drop it onto your view controller here so yeah this looks fine now we need to hook this view with the view controller first click onto your view controller click on view controller here and on view on your map and there you see something that is called delegate. Click on it. So you see this blue line again here. And hook it up with your view controller. This is very important here. So now we did that. Let's just go back to our view controller. And now we have to make sure that the view controller actually um, uses the delegate. So now here we have to add the delegate, which is map, mk map. Oh, of course, it doesn't appear because we have to import the framework. Map kit. MK map view delegate. There it is. Okay, good. So now everything is hooked up. Let's just go to our view did load method. Just bear in mind, I just give you a very quick and dirty way to do it. Later on, you have more possibilities and more time to um, outsource everything to different classes or other libraries that you would like to create on your own and so on and so forth. But I just show you how the basic mechanisms work in order to display locations on, on, an, uh, on a map for iOS apps. So I just removed this comment here because it's a default comment and doesn't serve any purpose anymore because we because we already know what a view did load fu function does. Okay, um, first of all, uh, to make sure that we can actually work with a map kit, a map kit has to have uh, certain values. For instance, I've already looked up the longitude and latitude coordinates for the old Minster. So you don't have to look for them anymore and we just save some time. So I just write them down directly here. So what we need are two variables. Our first variable will be our latitude variable. And this is of type LL location where we have degrees. And these are 48. 399193 and we use another one for longitude and of the same and we're going to write down 9 
nine, three, three, four, one was it? Okay, so these are the two variables we're going to need. So we also need two more variables. As a result, we're going to use uh, it's. I'm going to call it the latitude delta, which is also in this case uh, of type degrees, and we're going to use this one here. So in order to make it more uh, zoomed in, so this is very important. So you um, determine how much you want to zoom into an app uh, when your app launches. And we're going to do the same thing for the latitude, uh, for the longitude. Just hang on. Uh, let's just call it long. Okay, so we got these two values here. Okay, so another thing, so in order to make sure that, this, that the zoom area is correct, we need, I'm going to call it the span, we need something that is called mk chord, and where is it there? Span. Now, it's also this one here, span make. And there you see that these two parameters pop up and these are the two ones that we've created previously. So the first one is the latitude. So we're going to use the lat delta. So just hang on. So you see that the new X code has some box here. So it looks a little weird the first time that um, this message here overlaps the whole syntax of your function. So you need to figure out how to get along with that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it this way, so yeah, it's a little frustrating the first time you do it, but you get along with it. The, uh, the more time you invest in programming with Swift. So just to make sure that you need the lat and the long delta. And there you go, so now we've done everything that we had to do. Good, now we have the information we need for this, the the area we want to display on the map. Good. Now we need to give the exact um, location for our church. So let's just use these information. This is the church church uh, location. It's called MK coordinate. Uh, no, it's called uh, coordinates. Yeah, 2D. And here we have it. So, coordinate 2D. Make was it exactly. And now we got, got to introduce our latitude and longitude coordinates here. So, the latitude was latitude. And the longitude. Yeah, exactly. So, now we got this here done. And now this is the very important thing here. Now you also have to make sure that the actual region is displayed. So this is what, what I was talking about previously. Now you hook you you provide all the information that uh, your map kit requires you to have, and now you just combine all the information with uh, one uh, variable. And this in, in this case, it's I'm gonna call it the region. And it's of type MB, MK um, coordinate region in this case, and it's coordinate region. There was something. I have to look at what was it? yeah here exactly. This is this one here. Make. Let's just use church location and the span. So, and this should be sufficient. Now, what we also have to make sure is that we actually render um, the the map uh, in our iOS app. So let's just do it by using self. Ah, just hang on, we forgot to do something, obviously. Um, we can't display it right now because we have to make sure that we have a variable that we can work with uh, regarding our map kit that we created here in our storyboard. So as you remember, uh, we can't do much about it right now because this here is just displayed in our map in our storyboard. However, we need a variable for that in our view control Swift class. 
So let's just create one. Uh, let's just go this way here. Um, uh, let's just create it here. It's called the map view. Good. So now we got it. Let's just go back to our source code and uh, we have it. So here up here we have our map view. It's of type NK map view. And now we're going to say self the map view. And now we need to set such region. So, and the region is the region, the region, exactly. And we're going to say true. And now let's just run it. Let's just figure out whether we did it correctly. So, here we have our, our simulator. Very good. So you see, um, we made sure that we have our location here, and this is the, the, the region this, this, uh, which is displayed according to these um, according to this information. So we needed this information here to to actually dis tell MapKit where is our building, where is our location that we want to display, and around it we also need these uh, delta um, values in order to make sure that we uh, can zoom in a little, so in order to display this little region here and not to have a very huge one, for instance, like just displaying um, Germany, so which wouldn't make any sense. And as a result, so you see that it worked uh, providing all uh, these four uh, values. Now, however, one thing is missing, obviously. Um, we know that we have the coordinates, but we also want to display it to the user by, a, by a using a pin. So in order to also create a pin, we need to do something more. Let's just close it and let's write some more code. Um, what we need is we have to make sure that we have a and an annotation. So an annotation is basically uh, the, the class that makes sure that we actually create a pin for this location on the map. I just do this here. I'm going to call it the all minster, minster location. Uh, the, the all minster, pardon, annotation. And it's of type mk point annotation. Now I created this uh, instance here and I'm going to call it the all minster annotation and here it's very important now we have to provide the coordinates. So the coordinates were these two things up here but the thing is here we need the, the, uh, the, uh, the class that provides the combination of those two values which was this year the church location so we're going to use the church location data that comes from here and furthermore we also need more information yeah this is very important so a pin usually has two uh, strings one string one string is used in order to display the title of the pin and the other one is used to display a subtitle for this location. In this case, let's just um, use a title that says All Minster. And we also have a subtitle. Um, we're going to call it a famous church in Germany. So let's just put everything this way here. Good, so, and in order to make sure that, that this here is also displayed, we also have to tell our map view kit that this information exists and we also have to add it to the map view. So, as a result, we have to write down self the map view at notation. And what is our annotation? This here, the old minster annotation. Let's just add this here. And yeah, and that's basically it. Let's just compile it, let's just check it out.
So you see we got our pin. We click on it and you see Allminster, a famous church in Germany. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned how to use MapKit with Swift. That is a very, very basic uh, tutorial on that. You can expand on it. You can also uh, use different uh, methods or other classes where you handle um, the display of pins and the regions and uh, so on and so forth. So just bear in mind, please subscribe to my channel. Please um, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and don't forget, shock the world with your programming skills and stay tuned.